Hi everyone. So today we're going to continue uh, where we left off uh, by extending the model class so that we can perform more actions uh, with our application. So to remind you, so far what we have is the get method which uh, in the model which returns all of the uh, different records that are part of the table item and in the home controller this get method is invoked and then all the results are sent to a view and this view the index view basically lists the items so what we are going to do is we're going to start by looking at our item class and start adding more methods to it so that we can perform all of the crud operations so create read update and delete operations okay so let's start with the create operation we want to have a function to insert records so public function create And for this uh, method, the SQL will be an insert statement. Insert into item. It's always good to list the fields you want to populate. Value. And we place a placeholder name. There we go. And now let's prepare the statement and then execute the statement as above. So prepare the statement. And now when we want to execute this statement, we need to also pass the data. So one data element for each placeholder. So for name, I will pass this name from the object. Good. So once the method is executed, I like to return self connection row count, which returns the number of rows affected by the change. So in other words, if there's one record created, it should return one. It's a good indication, some feedback that tells you if it worked or not. Okay, so to make this, to use this, uh, we are going to write a controller method, the create method, public function create, And this uh, function create is going to have two branches. So basically, uh, if is set, we're going to check uh, an element of post. Um, I like to call this element action. And uh, that's going to be the branch where we're going to save the data. And the other one else. This is going to be the branch where we call the view. Right, so this view, and there's going to be a view here. Uh, let's say home slash create. Okay, that, that would make sense. We'll create that view in a few minutes. Um, and now, how do we process? Well, that's going to be based on the form that we receive. So let's get right to building the view. The view is going to be a form. So I'll make a new file here and I'll save it as the create.php view. All right, HTML. So we have a head, a title, let's say, create an item.
and a good heading create an item we write a form and this form is going to have as action the same URL and method post. We also put a label name and input of type text with the name name and we close the label we also need to have another input of type submit with the name action this is where the check comes from uh, let's not forget the value for the text which is going to be create okay so we have a form here we might as well put a hyperlink a hyperlink back to the home index And this hyperlink is going to say cancel. Okay. So we are going to send the name of our item. So I remind you, basically our item stores a name here. And we're going to send that through the post method to the same URL so the same controller method basically as the one that presented this form in the first place so back to our home controller we create an object an instance of the item class and we save that as our new item then then we populate new item name is going to be what comes from post name great and now we invoke the create method from the model itself. So if we look at the item model, we have the create method, which needs to be invoked to insert the record. There we go. Now, one thing's missing. It is the redirect, which we need to implement at the end of this set of statements. And the way to redirect in PHP is to send HTTP headers. And this header is going to be location colon slash home slash index. There we go. This should redirect. So it's not going to be possible to actually navigate to this place without having a hyperlink. And this hyperlink is going to be in the index view. The proper hyperlink location would be at the top. Since we want to navigate to the create view, to not the create view, but the create controller method we go slash home slash create and we write add an item okay now is as good a time as any to try this out so if we go to our 
item list and we refresh the view we have a hyperlink to add an item click and we see create an item we have the option of canceling or adding an item for instance I got milk cookies potatoes oh and now we have an error because it's not creating properly oh row count is not working out okay that's kind of a funny thing because of the way that I built it I believe it's probably because it should be called on the statement regardless it worked out let's go fix that row count error and that would be in the item class statement row count yeah that would make sense all right let's go for a second test since we made that change and let's add pizza create all right there we go 